Okay, moving into the assignments tab, you can see I've got uh, one assigned tab, uh, one assigned homework going on at the moment. And if I open up my graded ones, you can see I've got a few more in there from from previously that are all kind of finished. Uh, I'm going to click on create to create a new homework. Uh, now you have a choice. You can either make a quiz, which will uh, ask you to import uh, Microsoft Forms, uh, or you can create one from an existing assignment. So if you made one previously, you can use that as a kind of a template for pre making your next uh, assignment, or you can start one from scratch, which is what I'm going to do here. Now this is the assignment screen that you get to. So let's give the homework a title. For this class, I'm going to set them a task of creating a knowledge organizer. So the instructions is create okay now you can do all sorts of things with this you can set points uh, so how many marks you're going to mark it out of you can assign it to multiple classes by clicking here I've just got it signed assigned to my year 10s for now uh, you can assign it by default to all students or select some students to send it to and then you can set a due date I normally give them a week to do it, so I'm going to give them a week to, to make this revision card. Okay, so that's that. We can also attach resources to it as well. You can even get Teams to uh, distribute your homework for you, get them to work within Teams and send the resources back to you and you can have it marked. Okay, so I think I'm done on that task, so I'm going to click Assign. Uh, now that then goes into my list of assignments. You can see I just got a little pop-up telling me that it was due. And if I come over to my uh, team screen as well, you can see there's a little uh, notification there that there is uh, there's a new homework set. It also appears in the conversation thread, so they get a notification here as well that there is a there's a homework to be done. Check out these other great videos on using Office 365 tools in your classroom or in your remote learning setup. Stay safe, keep your hands clean, and I'll see you on the next video.